Hello everyone and welcome back to the Spearhead cast. I got a match I did not actually really want to cast, but I didn't really want to be rude, so uh, we're gonna have a mixed allies one here. Just in the future, remember to only send me Western allies or Soviets separate. I do not like to see Soviets and Western allies together on, in matches. That's just my own personal opinion and I hope you respect it. But I will record this one and cast it for you all. Let's go through the players. We have Kiem as Ranger Company for the United States of America. Popo SK as... That's Rifle Division for the Soviet Union. Okay, that's a good one. For the Germans. We have Silver Wolf as the Waffen SS without a command yet. And we have Wehrmacht. Tomato juice. Tomato juice. Yeah, tomato juice. As Wehrmacht as Ostdivision. Okay, so we're gonna see... What was with the Grenadiers? No, what's open yet? Okay. And the Waffen SS is already gonna be engaging with the Soviets out here in the fields. This is the, the that Polish map on a specific Polish flavor. I forgot the name a bit. I apologize because I'm not really good at speaking uh, Eastern European language. And this, the Soviets are getting cut to pieces immediately. Holy shit. They lost a lot of men very quickly to these Waffen SS troops. And what we have the re fighting over here. Yeah, Popo took a lot of losses there running on the open against Storm Pioneers. And we have a lot of American troops coming in here, riflemen fighting against the most uh, Grenadiers. We also have some Grenadiers coming up behind. Most of them coming in back afterwards. American riflemen will start to prove they have a lot of firepower here the longer these engage the engagements go on. But for now, the Waffen SS controls the territory. The Soviets are going to have to uh, recuperate a little bit. Based on taking heavy losses, keep coming up for the U.S. Uh, riflemen. That's the U.S. Uh, Rangers. Looks like it's just a 30 cal jeep, not a 50 cal. Americans are moving up into the barn. Germans clean there first. Those pioneers are in trouble. They're gonna get cut down. Pioneers are cut down. Do not underestimate American riflemen at these, at these ranges. They are exceptionally good infantry. Most because of the semi-automatic weaponry. We also have some conscripts here to support now. Vertical Jeep coming up. Most good going inside the building. Not a good idea. Rifle grenade going in. Good rifle grenade. Kill one of them. But the Vertical Jeep is now present. That's going to force a retreat from the Wehrmacht. Strong Grenadier is turning around to open fire though. The Americans need to secure some territory though. They're not getting any any supplies. As the Soviets are going to have to do that for them. Americans definitely have to uh, heal up here. Strong Grenadier is going to win this in the long run. In the long run here, just playing behind her recovery. They are taking losses though, surprisingly, from the conscripts. But the Americans need to heal up and secure territory. Vertical is trying to open fire here. Yeah, it is suppressing them. Oh, worth suppressing them. Gonna dead on the Jeep though, force gets to pull back. Conscripts used the chance to move a little bit further up though. And we have more conscripts coming up behind it. German FG is preparing to move up again though. Pioneers and Volksgradius. Punch is rushing. And Molotov going into the trench. That's a death storm grand here. That's costly. But if after this do control this entire front line over here. More Americans coming up here. But out the opening the road that it'll be easy targets. That Jeep has to be very careful, it's moving very far up. Anti tank rifle going out. And that's a dead Jeep. Well, almost dead. There we go. American riflemen are proven to be very good with M1 Garands, though. We have a Gradius arm with a stolen. with a stolen anti tank rifle from the Soviets. Germans did like to use a lot of stolen equipment from the Russians, or just anyone in general they could get their hands on. 
And her tank rifles being a very good, very good uh, example right there. We have runs down, but we have runs are not as important as you'd think. They're not as important as engineers of other factions. We have rangers coming in, arriving at half track. Rangers are elite infantry for the U United States of America. They're able to range a company, obviously. They still haven't captured that territory over there, which they nearly need to do. Always remember to capture and connect your territory, people. You need to get supplies. Pontoviki arriving out for the Soviets. More combat and decent infantry for the Soviet Union. That's a lot of rifles. I think these two pioneers might be in trouble. Just, just uh, the sheer amount of rifles can can hurt you. Ah, oh, he's captain with the uh, Rangers. Good to see. You can probably catch at this point uh, this medic station, alone, honestly. The Germans have both the fuel points at the moment, which is a very big deal. Leutnant arriving here for the Ostdivision, marking this rifleman. I should make him more susceptible to fire. Oh, forward base set up here by the Americans. Very interesting. So he's gonna be in force out here now. We also have a 30 cal coming up for the United States of America. Combat off for the Soviets. This rifleman squad might not survive. That's a little rifles coming his way. Oh, he might actually get out of there. America's going into the uh, the barn here. Well, that's a little rifles that are opening fire on it. Ray going into. They need to get out of that building. He is fast and doing that. Good to see. Pineapple going in. An American is not healed up, he's gonna die. Yeah, there he goes. Range is not being utilized enough here. Soviets are trying to push up on their end, though. No. So, looks like we have a strong gun hand with a uh, marksman rifle and an MG42. So, that's a very competent unit in uh, most ranges. After I was taking shots from the uh, AT rifle, the Rangers did manage to get out unscathed. Pretty cal set up though. Those rangers will cut down those pioneers with ease. Rangers are exceptionally good infantry. They can probably even take this munition this fuel point if they want. Like rangers can reliably take on most enemies. So that shouldn't be a problem. Meanwhile, it looks like Storm Grand has to push the search back again. Still no commander choice. Probably don't see a need to do it. Lots of conscripts moving out here again. Pack 40 arriving for the Germans as well. For the Waffen SS runner. Fuel point is now finally coming in the hands of the Americans here. That's a lot of Soviet rifles in one trench. Still no commander choice. We really need to see when he goes for something. PBS Aegis have been under the Volksgradius. A unique weapon you can arm on the Volksgradius if you're playing a source division. Another example of essentially the Germans utilizing practically anything they could get on the Eastern Front. They used a lot of captured Russian equipment. The PBS Aegis being exceptionally popular actually. To the point they began uh, distributing field manuals of how to use it. And even converting them to use German ammunition. That should tell you something. Let's just meanwhile just slowly securing territory here. Command F1 pushing up though, and the Americans are lacking AT equipment. Although a heat bazooka is being prepared now for the Rangers. Oh smoke! Oh, very nice. I've seen smoke being used to cover their cover their approach. That's very smart. And with that, the Grenadiers are going to push up using a rifle grenade. Oh, not a smoke grenade actually. Using an unable. Oh, to capture the fuel point. Very smart. Calling a terror in the barn, but the Americans have already evacuated. 
He Pasuka's not gonna have the range to hit the F1, I think. Oh, I, it, it almost hit actually. Whoa. Impressive. But the Rangers should not stay in that trench for too long. They need to get back and get more men. Yeah, well, the service using the town here to push up the Waffen SS position. And we think Waffen SS has gone for Panzer. So we have a Panzer division here for the Waffen SS. Crowd more coming out for the Soviets. The American Rangers need to heal up rapidly. Propaganda artillery coming in here from the Commissar. Max no, that's not the Maxim, that's the, uh, the Gorionova, which is essentially meant to replace the Maxim, I was the idea, I believe. It's using the Dushka model in this uh, in this game, but it's not a 50 cal, it's a 30 caliber weapon, I believe. But it was meant to replace the uh, Maxim. The more smoke coming in. Range is almost fully reman remanned. Lots of fight fighting going on down here. Double machine gun here for the uh, Waffen SS though. Looks like the MD42 is losing to the uh, new Soviet machine gun. More conscripts are flanking around. Firefight is a little bit slow over on the American side for now. Molotov going out. That's going to disrupt the German position for a little bit. But this kind of scoops one. Oh! Grant has angry on it! Oh, it just killed the, a lot of the uh, medics and such. That might actually help a little bit because it was, No, they can still heal by the looks of it. Hmm. I don't know if that kind of gonna get out of there. Yeah, he's down. The other side is being pushed up on now. The Shook has to be very careful here. There we go, one good shot immobilized the F1. AT gun coming up as well. And that might just be what they need. They just need to get a good angle on it. But it cannot hit from there, I think. And well, the fighting in the town continues, but I think the Soviets lost the machine gun. No, they didn't they actually pull the back, they need to retreat it. Oh, that's not gonna be a problem. They don't have enough here to fight. They have getting 120 million order though. That Pesuga has long range, wow! Heat Pesuga is not bad at all! Very impressive! You actually get a slow fire PAR for them as well, I think, so they have a good long range. Just trying to push up though, Soviets have lost their position again. The Waffen says Sturm Grenadiers are doing a really important job here. Both of them have been MG 42s and a, and a marksman rifle. American Rifleman trying to push up here. And yeah, I'm with the Springfield Rifle, I think, because he's playing as Ranger, which gives the Americans access to a Marksman Rifle, which they normally don't have access to, I believe. Soviets are not doing too well on their, their end, but they are calling in the Elite Guards now. Rifle Guards, unique unit to the... Uh, so a rifle commander, they can only have one of them at the field at a time. Really good infantry, can be equipped for most most situations. I think when they get into this trench here, they'll be able to do a lot of good work. I don't think these Storm Grenadiers are going to be able to fight them. And yeah, they're already getting a lot of good shots there. Rifle Guards is a really good squad, by the way. Don't underestimate them. We see a uh, lieutenant coming in for the Americans here. Ranger Lieutenants. Being armed with, with cheaper Thompsons at the moment. Scoped SVT already being equipped here for the for the guards. Americans really need to see if they can get their fuel though. Not a rough one going into the hole. Did Silver flush something? I guess he was wondering, he probably lost the squad or something, but he's wondering how and what. Perhaps the Herbie Mortar got something? 
Not to say. Now I can still need to see if they can secure that fuel somehow. You have a Hetzer coming up. Pack 40 coming up as well. Actually, that's not a Pack 40. That's a Pack 38. Okay, that's going to be fascinating. So a shorter belled AT gun. We have Ranger Recon Squad coming up. How are they going to secure that fuel point, though? So it's just sitting up the heavy mall to bombard their end. Bombing the Waffnesses. Should be a machine gun here for the Waffnesses. Waffnesses, that's a lot of machine gun. It's going to be very hard to move out there, though. There's a lot of Germans covering this open ground. Including the Waffnesses squad. There's an MG here able to turn around and cover the town. Hits are coming out of the fields. A small and nimble little tank tank destroyer that was pretty infamous for being very well sloped at the front. Giving it quite effective armor for its size. Also has a new feature that the machine gun on top is actually remote controlled, I believe. It's actually not, there's actually not a gunner outside the vehicle, making him more protected. Another fascinating little tidbit. Yeah, these conscripts are not going to last long. I don't think the heads will win against the 57mm, though. Yeah, as you can see, there's actually not a gunner up there. Although the hatch is open, probably because in the vanilla game, the hats you get, I think, actually does have a gunner up there. But it, it is actually meant to be remote controlled from inside, as I understand. At least most of the versions of it. Soldiers ready. Sniper now available for duty. We have a sniper team coming in here for the rifle division. Good elite marksmen of the Soviet sniper schools. Soviets actually had a very impressive sniping program. They probably have a few of the best snipers of the war. Artillery being called in nearby the Lieutenant. That's going to threaten the American position. It is is having trouble penetrating the heads of this range. Going to be kind of moving up behind the destroyed truck. That's going to put them in a lot of fire. We've got a 3 inch gun coming up as well. Panzer 4H is going to be coming up for the Oost Division 2, which is a good thing they have three inches there. Waffnes actually, actually doesn't have a lot of infantry at the moment, which could be a problem. If the Soviets can find a way to get through the defenses here, they could overrun their position. The heavy mortars already begun firing. And the marksman rifle on the, uh, on the rifle guards is actually doing a really good job alongside the sniper team. Oh, Hetzer got, got, got hit there briefly. The Americans still haven't secured their fuel. So Germans still have the fuel advantage. Soviets are trying to push up, though. Oh, but I do think the Soviets have the power to bleed the Waffen SS out in time if they just keep trying. They just need to do it smart. Afkla coming out here for the Wehrmacht. Hope to try and fight against all these American troops by providing some eyes on them and some recon fire. Ranger recon team trying to move up here. Three inch gun coming into position. Cover of the three inch has been destroyed. Turning into a little bit more of a long range fight. Storm Pioneers are trying to get around this position down here. They'd be armed with a Panzer's wreck. Probably not what I would suggest in this kind of situation environment. But what am I to say? It might work. But the rifle guards are present. And the rifle guards are very accurate with their guns. Panzer 4H moving up. Americans are lacking AT equipment right now.
Oh, even some grenades coming in from the flank here. Very good job with all the rifle grenades. Good shot though from the three inch. And he's waiting to be caught moving down the open. I gotta get mowed down. They need to move back quickly. Three inch has been decrewed. And 80 guns are being hit by the Panzer Fall. So it's slowly getting closer to the field point up here. But the rifle guards are being targeted down. And the rifle guards are taking losses, they need to pull out. But we have a KB-1 coming up for the rifle division. A powerful, well not powerful, but a pretty good heavy tank for the Soviet Union. Early on in the war, it was actually pretty hard for the Germans to deal with it. They actually sometimes doing Operation Barbarossa had to call out the Flak 38s from the rear lines to deal with them because they really had not much that could actually deal with a KV-1. Of course, this is not the early time of the war, but it's still an impressive heavy tank. Do not underestimate it. However, it only has the same gun as the as the T-34, I believe. So do not do not think its gun is the best at its job. But it'll do it'll do okay. It'll definitely be something the Germans have to pull a little bit more out to stop, but that's what the Panzerswerk is there for, I assume. Thomas has some trouble. So it's the heavy mortar, actually, but the KV-1 is starting to push up. Panzerswerk is being loaded. Taking out the gun in one shot. And Raketenwerfer... Not Raketenwerfer. Stugasifu is firing after us to try and stop it. But dodged. And that KB-1 is going to need repairs immediately. Americans try to push up here, call in some artillery. We have some stormtroopers arriving here for the Ost Division. Another unique squad to them. Pretty good assault infantry, actually. More artillery going in. Looks like a lot of stuff is happening. Americans are smoking the point. They're finally going to try and attempt to take it. Took them long enough. Stormtroopers are trying to move up to try and hold it though. Throwing in a fragmentation grenade. They did decap it though. That's a voyage pushing up again. More artillery being called in. Americans have secured the point though. That's a four got hit on the flank. Ranger Vico might be ready, ready here with a bazooka, but he has to be careful. Down the open against the MG, but he did get it off! But he did lose the range of recon to that. That's not a that's not a good sacrifice, I think. Heads have got her shut though. But the fancy 4 H and the Hetzel will both survive, I think. Heavy mortar still bombarding the uh, German positions. K1 is almost operational again. It looks like that the Silverwolf is actually using the Kampkraft Center. As you should. It's allowing him to get veterans to free infantry shortly. Like straight out of the game. Oh, actually, that's not, that's not infantry. That's the support crews. So that means all his packs are going to become uh, veterans to free straight out of the gate. I and mean, his machine guns as well. That's actually pretty potent. Not going to lie. That means you can like, give a scope to your MG42 straight out of the gate. Pretty strong. I think you can get a scope. Yeah, they, they can only get the scope now if you want. K1 is time to push up though. Pack is veteran though, so it has a lot better time. Should have a lot of better time dealing with the KV. But the heavy mortar is shooting in the area. Landing. 
Andy Forty Two setting up. Good job from the pack forty. The veteran is paying off as we would expect. Watcher coming in for the United States. Cap using 106.7 mm fire for effect in this area. That's gonna prevent the Germans from using that territory. K1 is almost rational again. We have a fort camp and we have the NKVD coming in. Nick Battle Group for the Rifle Division. I believe these guys are not the ones who can sneak, but they are pretty good infantry still. I believe it's a six man squad you can get that can sneak. These guys are being armed with double rifles though. Oh god. So these are going to be very big sharpshooter squads of the NKVD. That's very scary actually. They're going to try and and call the uh, German troops with accurate with accurate rifle fire. Stugus Fuss is opening fire though. Very good one too, but they're not ki- Oh! Got the KB-1! I tell you going in the American position. That's Herbie Howard's holy shit! Hold in by the... Uh, is that the Hauptmann? Or is that the, the rank above? That's probably the rank above Hauptmann. But that's some big artillery. Like, he just completely flattened that farm. And that was, I think, 15 centimeter high explosive. That is some huge shots. Completely demolishing the farm entirely. Yeah, 15 cents a meter. Tomato juice is correct. We have a Springfield sniper here for this American rifleman. Trying to do his best to try and take pot shots. Oh, they shot in return. Mortar team fleeing off the map, apparently. Guess the mortar got destroyed. That's actually a long retreat path they have there, holy shit. More artillery going in. This time from the Leutnant. Having me down with a check machine gun. Gets us moving very aggressively up. Okay, the headset's gonna last long. Yeah, Pasuga got it. And Leutnant went down as well. Is that an, that's a jumbo. We have a jumbo Sherman come out for the Ranger. This is essentially a heavily armored Sherman. Like, look at that armor rating. Holy shit. That's 100, 1650. That's more than a Tiger, I think. This this thing is absolutely mentally frontally armored. Like the jumbo was a very armored uh, Sherman that was just designed to be a breakthrough tank, as you can kind of tell. But the they are getting an elephant, and I think an elephant can probably beat the jumbo frontally. Don't quote me on that, but I don't actually think the the elephant can probably beat it. Because the elephant has a 88 millimeter high velocity, that should be more than enough to deal with a uh, the jumbo. Might not penetrate all shots, but. The Jumbo is definitely going to be a problem if they don't find a way to deal with it. But I'm pretty sure the Elephant can. It. It's also being armed with white phosphorus around, by the looks of it, after it's going to get its 50 calendars up. 50 cal is a pretty good weapon to have on a vehicle, in all honesty. Captain's being shot up out in the open, but he's calling in more fire for effect. 106mm. 106.7mm to be exact. Oh, that's a good shot from it right there. And now the uh, Jumbo's gonna start pushing up. It needs American infantry behind it, though. You should never move your tank up without infantry support. Double Rangers being called in. You could also go for the Brazilians, although nobody ever goes for the Brazilians, I'm afraid. 
They're pretty risky to use. American Rathman now taking this point, though. Oh, we have a B4. We have a fucking B4. Oh god. Is he gonna notice? And that's one B4 shot, essentially vaporizing the Waffnesses defense up there. And we have the Soviets are gonna order their push. Rifle guards pushing northwards. B4 is gonna fire its second shot soon, I think. Yep, here comes the second shot. Essentially plummeting most of the town into ruin. That's the power of the B4 right there. Stalin Sledgehammer. Exceptionally heavy artillery piece for the... For Soviet rifle and I believe Soviet artillery. They both get access to it. And there it goes. Oh, they even stun their own infantry. That's also the problem. It has very high shockwaves. Elephant is present though. Flying a heat shell on the infantry? That's gonna hit the hill. That's a little bit of a waste of a heat shell, I say. That will be better used against the uh, Sherman. More artillery going in. Looks like it's the 106.7 millimeter again. Very popular by the looks of it. So it's pushing up aggressively now that the SS position had been completely compromised. They've lost practically everything to, the, to that B4. NKVD troops are also becoming a problem, but the Czech machine gun on these uh, Storm Pioneers is doing a decent job, but I think that all the marksmen are just gonna cut them down in time. Also, the rifle guards of HC5. They could be armed with another weapon, actually. They still only have their marksman rifle. You, they can give them a bazooka, even a DPM. Or even AVSs. A lot of potential weaponry there. Command pan for arriving. Powerful command tank for the Waffnesses Panzer Division. Building a high explosive shell here. Ooh, hit, but didn't actually get a lot of kills thanks to the cover they were behind. Looks like the officer here from the Germans is gonna fire in 415 centimeter. So the, Ger so the Am allies have to abandon this little front line. That's a lot of artillery coming in. Oh, yeah, straight on a machine gun. Like that. That's some pretty big artillery. Now the stormtroopers coming up behind it. There's not a lot of Americans present on the front line to stop them. On Yob, though, I think they will get a bit cut down. Brave attempt, though. Oh, the Jumbo's moving forward. That's a bad move, I think. Yep, the elephant can, can shoot straight through it. The Panther cannot, apparently. But the elephant I will, just, will just keep doing it, I think. Panther 4 down. Yeah, there it goes. Jumbo down. Soviets pushing through this flank here. They're being shot by the base flak. It's eager, it's going out, though. Good one on the command, Panther. The conscripts are taking heavy losses. AT Grades trying to go out an elephant, but no, didn't work, no penetration. That's a lot of dead conscripts. K1 is arriving to support the Americans. Such a weird thing to say. Raiders have arrived at the front line, though. Really good infantry.
Elephant firing another heat shield. Overshot, hit the destroyed farm. Bring this equipping the, the three inch gun. Range is moving up with the Heat Bazooka. Tank support is here. No hit. Must be close though. Command path for moving up. Oh wait, what the hell happened there? High explosive door killing the American captain. And Ranger squad entirely down, dropping a bazooka. The inch might be in trouble here. Bazooka didn't penetrate. Elephant is very frontally armored. It's gonna be very hard to pierce frontally. If not downright impossible to some. You're also doing a big frontal push here. That's very dangerous out in the open road out in the open fields. With artillery being called down too. Second artillery going in here, the Soviets and Americans might have to abandon the zone. Yeah, Rangers is being hit. Just got a report of an infantry unit being and Germans are pushing up aggressively. Oh, huge howitzer shots. Is that the B4? That's the B4. The driver's injured in the elephant. Standing by. Do you need something? Well, the panther's still alive, but he probably thought the things that panther got destroyed by the V4, but he didn't. TV4 pushing on the other flank here. There's only a little German bunker to stop it, which is not going to do much. And the customers are just going to wait until that bunker is still good before they push up. Yeah, the German flank is in trouble. The Waffen SS has lost a lot, but they have a lot of veteran stuff, at least thanks to the Kamkraft Center. Now the Kanskas can push up behind the T-34. Capture some territory for the Soviet Union. For the motherlands. But the command pan for assuring itself at this flank now. Loading high explosive for the guards. Oh yeah, that guard score is practically dead. And there they go. Looks like the KV-1 and the Jumbo is heading towards the other flank. Hope to deal with the Panther. Not, an e not the easiest task to do. Getting another KV-1 by looks of it. If you can actually take up to the final tier as rifle, you can actually upgrade to KV-1 East, which increases the armor to be a lot more effective. Especially late game against Panthers and so on. Well, Americans have gotten Long Tom. Another big howitzer. Ooh, good shot. Immobilized the elephant. They meet they're spreading away from the elephant. For good reason. Yeah, the long time shots are gonna land very wildly. Jimmy infantry are moving to support the other flank being well. Oh, 
Manpan for Moonfall. It's got a good shot there on the T-34. Over-penetrated, though. Jump on moving forwards here. Very aggressively of the, of the Jumbo. Very aggressively. There's still a pack forward that can threaten it. And pack forward opening fire. No penetration. Engine, engine damaged. That's not good. I think the Panther's in a good position here. But the T-54 is flanking. Oh, that's bad. Oh, and the Jumbo's immobilized and has lost his gun. I think the Panther got the upper hand there. And now the Panther 4H is flanking. K1 is proven to be a very, very hard not to crack sometimes. But it looks like that the Germans won that little get tank engagement. There's another KV1 coming though. But it's a little too late, I think. Get yeah, a Panzer Force on the prowl. It knows the jumbo is immobilized. Oh, Jumbo's still alive! Oh my god, the Jumbo might actually survive! No, the heat though, so I know if it- No! The heat didn't penetrate! Oh my god, this Jumbo refuses to die! Panther's just gonna kill the T-34 though. There's no way they can repair this thing. Yeah, we have some stormtroopers coming up here and they're just gonna throw a cabal lot on it, I think. Or Panzerknag if they can clear the infantry. Oh, they've been armed with a full... Uh... Oh, the B-4 though! And they're just gonna mow down the NKVD and open. But the 50 cal is doing a good job here. This is a hero jumbo, it's doing an amazing job. German infantry, cut him down. Oh, and the B4 just saved it again. They need to get the repair station up and going. That that jumbo can be saved still. That's so impressive. Holy shit. That's done. Armor ready. They might have to get it up and going. The elephant is actually moving over here now. It will not allow that jumbo to survive. Third BE4 shield landed far too too far away. We have lost a squad. You know, the American infantry is still holding the other flank at the destroyed farm. Armor here. Oh my god, yeah, the 8 the 88 is still trying. Oh my god. Stormtroopers are pushing up though, but there's too many Soviets now to protect the jumbo. It's gone, it's operational! Oh my god! And the jumbo is saved! Oh my god, it's working again! That is so surreal! That was actually a really good scene there for the jumbo surviving all that. Storm's just going out in the open here. That Jumbo still has to be very careful though. He may have survived the first engagement, but he still has to deal with an elephant and a command panther. Oh yeah, that uh, that building is going down. It actually has 50 more uh, 50 more armor points than the uh, command panther. Yeah, it does. So this Jumbo is really impressive in armor. That's so impressive though, holy shit. And there's a second jumbo now. The two jumbos working in unison can be really, really hard to deal with. 
Is so it the American Howard says so getting uh, kills too? Hitting in this area where the Germans were, ma were massed. Meanwhile, well, the Leutnant is pushing up here. This is uh, quite a match, actually. I want to see these jumbos do well here. We have to see the 25th Panzer Gradius as well for the uh, Ost Division. Another unique unit available to them. Very good Panzer Gradius, probably some of the best Panzer Gradius actually. Funnily enough, they were the only German uh, Panzer Gradius units to actually be fully mechanized or motorized, so uh, that's a neat little thing about them. They were actually able to get enough half tracks to get around to everyone. That was actually not. Some of the Germans really had the access and luxury of. Recon Rangers coming up here, probably to find out a flare. Give them some eye on what's going on. Elephant is turned to fight with, against this jumbo. Oh, they, no, they don't penetrate. Oh, so much is that going on here. These two guys are full ready, though. Aiming probably for this jumbo. Ooh, it didn't hit incorrectly. The jumbos are still up and large. So we have tank riders going out. Conscripts on the back of the T-34s ready to go in. the easiest position to be in for the uh, for the Germans in all honesty. Yeah, 25th taking losses here, they might actually not get out of there. And they will not, that's a very expensive loss. The Manpanther against Jumbo, marking the Jumbo. This elephant still needs some repairs, though. Flares coming over the battlefield, they need to be careful. They're probably wondering when the B4 will fire again. The B4 is, after all, a very impressive weapon in the hands of the Soviets. Oh, Americans are going for a cutoff here on the uh, between the two German players. To catch that point, the... Uh, they're technically it will cut them off, okay. Not that it will matter much, because the rest of the territory is still connected to one of the German bases. One jumbo is really to this flank. Ranger Major in the field. You call in a 205 kilogram bomb if you want. That's a big, pretty big deal. The Germans gonna allow that point to be taken for long though. Stormtroopers always being relocated back with Gewehr 43s and MP40s. But a Jumbo is going to push for the other flank by the looks of it. And Germans don't have a lot of anti tank equipment at this flank. Maybe I tell you being called in here though. Storm troops are arriving though. Throwing a grenade there on the officer. And Panzerfaust in on the jumbo, penetrating it. I suppose we're going in the tank building. He's gonna try to destroy the Panzerhalle. But the elephant returned to stop it. Soviet tank riders coming in on the T-34s. What are they aiming for? What are they aiming for? The German front line is looking very thin. You can run coming overhead. You need an elephant? We are ready for action. 
Our flower coming out. Storm Grenadiers are going to push up first by the looks of it. Nope, looks like the Vox Grenadiers are going to lead the way. But the Americans have prepared a defense here in the trenches. So the Germans are preparing for a big push towards the destroyed farm here this time. Pulling in sector artillery. So the Americans cannot, cannot stay there for long. The shells are going to start landing shortly. That's not good. And once the artillery ends, I assume the Germans will charge. And they're smoking. And charging. Artillery being called in their way. Using more smoke though. But B4 is just standing behind, so the Germans can only really move forwards. Meanwhile, uh, some SS troops are trying to push for the other way. Alright, response until we stop them as well as some pineapples. I had to think the Soviets had an opening here to just drive straight through the sender. Especially because the elephant is now mobilized. There's a second pan for though, and it's a bit of free straight out the gate, thanks to the panzer, thanks to the Kampfkraft sensor. Oh god, that, that Ranger squad has been all to open fire. He needs to notice. He's not noticing. Those T-54s need to get moving. Artillery called in here. That's going to destroy the American fort base. The rest of the farm is going to be in ruins after the next few shots, I think. Yep, there's not going to be anything left of this farm. Oops, my bad. <laughs> Satchel charge going in on the elephant. That could destroy it. Almost. I think the T-34s need to make that move. And they're gonna move with a jump on their head. I had their head, rather. This command panel is gonna have a very hard time holding, I think. Oh, no, 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 it got a penetration. It'll do fine. T-34s need to act fast. Need to act fast, though. Looks like they're gonna go for the uh, elephant who has no gun. The Panthers getting side shots. The Balong is in the way to try to detract them. Very good job there. But one C for the four got through. And the elephant is just too armored. Oh, thanks. Command Panther tried to make a move, but the jumpers just sprung in. Panzer Knack on one C-34. Didn't do anything. There we go, now the elephant is down. One pan for the field's not going to do too much, I think, but it's going to try. Good shot down the jumbo. But I think the Germans have lost too much at this point. We don't have a lot of, enough units left or enough resources. Well, technically they have resources, actually. They have a lot of manpower they could use. 
Ramming! Almost destroying the Panther. Allowing for another T-34 to come up. Even smoking. And ramming and destroying it, oh my god. That is such a Soviet thing to do. We have lost one of our armored vehicles. I think this is over. Good attempt though from the Germans to defend, but... A little bit too much coming their way, I think. A little bit too much coming their way. But please, in the future, uh, please send me only Soviets or Western Allies on the Allied side. I don't want uh, them to be mixed, but this was a good match nonetheless. I would not say this wasn't a bad match. I enjoyed watching it, and I hope you do too. And I'll see you all in the next one, everyone. Bye-bye.